Dies ist das erste Bild eines schwarzen Lochs, aufgenommen von Forschern des Event Horizon Telescope Projekts. Es zeigt das schwarze Loch in der Galaxie M87 mit einer ringartigen Struktur um die zentrale dunkle Region, dem Schatten. Dazu wurden acht Radioteleskope zu einem weltweiten erdkugelgroßen Netzwerk verbunden. Diese bahnbrechende Entdeckung ist der Höhepunkt jahrzehntelanger experimenteller und theoretischer astrophysikalischer Arbeit. The Event Horizon Telescope is an international collaboration bringing up groups from Europe, the US and Asia, particularly Taiwan and Japan. And within Europe we are part of the Black Hole Camp project. It's an ERC synergy grant funded by the European Research Council and I partner with Heino Falken in Nijmegen and Michael Kramer in Bonn. What we do here at the Goethe University in particular is to provide an theoretical understanding and interpretation of the observations. In other words, we try to explain what is it that we see and why it looks exactly like that. And for doing this, we need uh, to perform simulations on different stages. In particular, we need to perform simulations on supercomputers that tell us how plasma falls onto a black hole. In the reality, most of the matter is that not directly fall onto the black hole. The matter is usually it rotated around to the black hole. This is similar to the, uh, the Saturn. It's surrounding around to the ring structure. Accretion disk is weakly magnetized plasma, and the magnetic field in the accretion disk is become the tablet. Then, it, the matter is due to the, uh, the rotation speed. Then, it fall onto the black hole. So as the magnetized gas is falling onto the black hole, it heats up and therefore generates the light that we then see. Now from our daily experience, we expect that light travels on straight paths and straight trajectories. We call them rays. Uh, here the situation is very different. We have a black hole sitting right there and it's extreme gravity. It is deflecting and bending the light rays away from the straight paths and it basically distorts the image by a great amount. So, uh, in fact, you can see things that are actually behind the black hole and that you thought were obstructed by the black hole simply because the black hole is bending the light rays into your line of sight. So if you think about how the image is supposed to look like, you expect that the black hole itself doesn't emit any light, so you expect a dark region. And around that dark region, you expect a bright ring of emission coming from all those light rays that are strongly deflected and had plenty of time to move around the black hole and collect the light that we see. Nachdem wir die Strahlung von unseren Simulationen berechnet haben, müssen wir sie an die Beobachtung anpassen, um zu festzustellen, ob unsere Modelle übereinstimmen mit den Beobachtungen. Und das kann man sich so vorstellen, dass sie im Stadion sind, mit 60.000 Leuten gefüllt, und sie haben ein Bild. Und auf diesem Bild wissen sie erstmal nicht, was auf diesem Bild ist, zum Beispiel eine Katze, ein Mensch. Und sie versuchen, dieses Bild innerhalb der, Be der Zuschauer wiederzufinden. Und was sie dazu machen, ist, sie nehmen das Bild, sie rotieren es, sie skalieren es, Sie ändern den Kontrast und sie vergleichen das mit den Zuschauern. Und am Ende werden sie statt 60.000 äh, Übereinstimmungen vielleicht 10 haben, die mit dem Bild übereinstimmen. Und genau das machen wir innerhalb des EHTs, um unsere Modelle an die Daten anzupassen. Through the years, people have been proposing also alternative objects that mimic the properties of, of black holes that are uh, called black hole mimickers. And now with the Event Horizon Telescope, we have for the first time the opportunity to, to look at black hole candidates uh, closely enough to see whether they are really black holes or they show features corresponding to these other kind of objects. For example, here in Frankfurt, we have simulated accretion onto a boson star, which is one of these mimickers. And we see a flow behavior that is very different from what we expect in a black hole. So black holes actually are very difficult to study. That's why it's been a challenge which has not been uh, accomplished yet. Die theoretischen Physiker der Goethe-Universität werden weiter nach Antworten suchen, um die Geheimnisse des Universums zu entschlüsseln. <lacht>